Would you like to know how the second leg of the UEFA Champions League semi-final between Real Madrid and Manchester City will end even before it begins? Today, I will answer that question. My name is Elirio, and I provide match predictions using modern artificial intelligence technologies. In one of my previous videos about the Champions League, I accurately predicted Inter's 2-0 victory over Milan. In today's analysis, I will assess the readiness of both teams for the game and predict the winner of this match. I will also make a forecast for the exact score it will end with. My project is non-commercial, and there is no advertising on the channel. If you like my prediction, please support the girl with a like and a subscription. And let's get started. In the first leg, Guardiola's team did not show the desired football and couldn't secure a victory against the Spaniards. However, personally, it did not surprise me because winning at the Santiago Bernabeu is challenging even for such a powerful collective. I believe Pep had all his aces and preparations in mind for the second leg, more than Carlo Ancelotti had this season. Another title in the Premier League is undoubtedly fantastic. But we all know that the Champions League is Guardiola's priority. Even judging by the results of the domestic league, where City's opponents are much weaker than Real Madrid, the citizens still drop points away from home more often than at home. They have achieved 16 victories in 18 home matches this season. Manchester City's form currently dooms every opponent to failure, and the sniper skills of Erling Haaland, who, as everyone says, doesn't fit Guardiola's style of play, are astonishing. Before the semi-finals, he broke Cole and Shearer's record in the Premier League by scoring 35 goals. You may have read all of this, but I'll remind you once again that the aforementioned legends scored their 34 goals back in the days when the Premier League consisted of 42 match days due to a higher number of teams. City, including the first leg against Real, is on a streak of 21 matches without a defeat, with only four draws. The aforementioned Erling Haaland scored 17 goals in 12 matches. Real Madrid looked worthy in the first meeting against the English team, no worse than their opponents. They even opened the scoring but then conceded. However, we understand perfectly well that it will be much harder for the Spaniards to avoid defeat away from home with the immense support of the hosts. Even in the current La Liga season, the Los Blancos suffered six losses on away grounds. The magic of the Champions League is undoubtedly great, but there should also be something rational in modern football. In recent games, the Madrid side has not been performing regally, as everyone always expects from them. There are reasons for that. The defense is struggling because the injured Ferland Mendy is not helping the team in the backline, and the disqualified Eder Militao has not yet returned for the City match, which, at the very least, forced Ancelotti to rely on Kamavinga to fill the left flank of the defense. Luka Modric prepared for the first leg in an accelerated mode after emergency treatment in Serbia, and overall, the Real Madrid lineup for almost the entire season could be named without errors by any fan who follows them. Just like Manchester United, it's the time for player fatigue. Hence the embarrassing defeat against Girona and the expected loss against Real Sociedad. However, the team knows how to rise to the occasion in the most important moments. I'm referring to the Copa del Rey final, where they convincingly defeated a resilient Osasuna, which, like Real Madrid, also had a challenging path to the final. I think even the most ardent Real Madrid fan would not argue that Manchester City is much stronger, especially in this season. They remain the favorites in this matchup. With all due respect to the Spaniards, the English team demonstrates a slightly different level of football. The only thing the visitors in the second leg can rely on is their belief in another miracle. But even when Los Blancos staged their comeback against Manchester City in the previous season, they did it in a match at the Santiago Bernabeu. In the away leg, they lost, 3-4. A couple of seasons before that, they also lost at the Etihad Stadium, 1-2. I believe that in this match, the English team will prove to be stronger and secure a victory. It won't be easy for the hosts in terms of gameplay. My prediction is a 2-1 victory for Manchester City. If you want to hear a prediction for a match you are interested in, please write the participants, date of the match, and the league in the comments section below the video. I will definitely provide a forecast to all my subscribers, 
and for the most popular matches, I will create a separate video review. Thank you for your attention.